What's going on everyone? Your favorite girl is back with another video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't, okay? Now let's get into it. So if you have not heard, you must be living under a rock about the Will Smith and Chris Rock slap. Now, since this incident, many started to wonder, was this staged? Hmm, because of the way Chris Rock braced himself as if he already knew Will was going to smack him. But Will Smith has practiced fake slapping people before during his acting career. So, you know, this video is going viral and people is trying to say Will Smith know how to fake slap a person. <laughs> <laughs> okay so like i said i don't know if the slap with chris rock was fake was it a publicity stunt i don't know all i know is will smith is an actor and i'm pretty sure he know how to fake slap people you know what i mean so this video is irrelevant to me now this situation got everyone voicing their opinion if you have not checked out the video of the many celebrities stating how they feel um go ahead and check that video out i did post it okay now will smith's mugshot is also in criminal history is also going viral so will was arrested 25 years ago where will ordered his bodyguard charles mack to attack a record promoter will hendrix after a verbal altercation that left the promoter nearly blind listen at the end of the day I just feel like people are trying to pull up any and everything to bring Will Smith down. I mean, exposing his criminal records, again, so unnecessary. Ain't no telling what else, you know, is about to be exposed if the blogs are pulling up Will Smith's background. I mean, oh my God, it is this is getting crazy and people are still talking about this smack, man. I don't know how long this is going to continue, but boy... It sure has gotten people talking about Chris Rock because they nobody been talking about him in years. I mean, he's like an irrelevant person, okay? But Chris Rock is not safe either. He is being put on blast for allegedly exposing himself during an audition to VH1 star Sean Carini, okay? This is what she posted. She says, yep, I'm triggered. Wish I could have put Will Smith slapping Chris Rock on repeat. Told me to suck his D to read four movie roles. Hashtag F Chris. Hashtag me too. Then Sean Carini says, Roderick Powell. Thanks. Wish you were there too. Asked me if I wanted to read for a movie role. Then pulled out his nasty uncircumcised thing. I ran out in tears. Wish Will would have used his fist and beat the brakes off of him. I know I'm not the only one. Mm, 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 mm. That is sad. Look, these are some serious allegations. And if this did happen... I hope other women come forward, okay? There have been plenty of incidents where women have said this has happened to them so by other producers. So, you know, I wouldn't doubt her story. Chris Rock is also being accused of being a coon, which we all knew that, okay? Because he uses the N-word with his friends all the time. Take a look at this video. He's the blackest white guy I well, know. And then, and then all the, the negative things we think about black people, this f***er... You're saying I'm a Yes, <laughs> you are the nigger <laughs> fucking white man <laughs> I have ever... Oh, oh, amazing. I, I don't think he, he could do that. Oh, what? Uh, I don't think he has those There's any two. I, I, I mean... No, not, you don't even understand. Really? You don't You don't really know him. Like, you're I've worked with him. No, no like, you're a bit no, about... Uh, no. I wouldn't use it anywhere. No, exactly. These two... These two... We use say that you're on stage. On stage. <laughs> you guys don't. That's... A, <laughs> yeah. This, yeah this that's the difference. Two teams that's here. the difference that's between... Like, yeah. That's right. That's right. We, we say you're on stage, you guys don't. But that's definitely a pairing. Who says you're on stage? We don't. Well, you just did. That's right. Yeah. You and me say... No, no, no. These two guys, <laughs> these two guys don't. 
I don't believe he says it in private. I'm much. giving it up just because it's played. I don't believe it's. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you've ever said it probably in your life. No, I don't no, think, no. Yeah, that's it. That's a big, huge difference between you and me. I think. Well, you you found the humor of it. Yeah, I haven't found it. Right. Nor do I seek it. Right. I mean, so, so <laughs> like, to find a way. Mm, 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 mm. What a shame. Oh, my God. Look how he is just so carefree using the word. Can we all say coon? Coon, okay. But the good thing for Chris Rock is his ticket sales has gone up since the infamous smack. All right. His tour has gotten sold out shows. It went from $46 a ticket to $341. I'm guessing people think that he, he will be talking about the Will Smith smack and, you know, making jokes of it. I don't know, but are you going to get you a ticket? Hmm. Listen, I'm going to leave off right here. I look forward to giving y'all more updates on this situation because, like I said, people are still talking about this. Jada is allegedly will be addressing the situation on the Red Table Talk, and I will be giving an update on that as well. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and support your girl, and your favorite girl is out. Bye.